you've been a bad boy. You betrayed my trust, Mark. That's one thing I can't stand. It's a man who doesn't keep his word. In the right, he has been. I didn't quite manage it, did you, darling? I think you were losing your touch, all right. Got your mind on other things, baby. Get on with it, Jolson. You've always been a drama queen. Or oh, you just clipped us. Yeah, Charlie. The suspense is killing me. Really, children? There's nothing that will give me more pleasure. However, I've got bigger fish to fry. You see, everyone in this town, including my ever still nephew, thinks I've gone soft. Come on, like soft toucher, a regular pushover. I've got the baboons all over North London, running guns doing crack. The fucking locals win that smack in Chinatown. The fucking Colin boys nonsense, mussing on the skin trade. All of my manner. My fucking manner! Mine for 20 glorious years. They think they can hear away at me like cancer, piece by piece. And I'll sit on my fat ass, twiddling my thumbs. But they're wrong, ain't they? That's right, Charlie. I've had them jumping through hoops. It's been a fucking bloodbath. It's all down to you, my son. <laughs> well, now I've got all them cockroaches down to a manageable level. I'm going to find my bone. A little ray of hope from soft old Uncle Charlie. Unfortunately, my son, it's going to be you. Mark, the prodigal return. The bad boy that's burned up half of London. <laughs> A little meeting then. Oh, what a fucking bomb. We're still with lads. That extends my invitations. Why? This is Charlie Jolson. I'd like to speak to Mr. Lee. Charlie Jolson, one there. Are you the other thing? You're going to go one of them now. Charlie Jolson. Oh, you've been having a spot of trouble. With the blacks and those one years from Soho. Or in the spirit of racial cooperation. I'm going to give you the boy that's been causing you all this strife. Fucking bastard, Jolson. Yeah, he's Mark Atman. You know the fella. What a college old boys. Who? Mark Atman? Rocky. I'm sure you'll be interested in having a word with him. Mark Atman? You bet your fucking balls I would. That's a fucking spirit. We'll sort out a cushy little meeting point. And I'll get back to you in the hour. We'll give him a proper little send-off. Just remember, this is an exclusive fucking engagement. You get one guest only. I don't want any of your heavies. What about this thing with shit, Charlie? The boys are bringing down the party. I want one of our in his nuclear crumpet to miss this one. It's going to be a blast. <laughs> Come on, let's go and lay the table. <laughs> now, truly fucked. I've committed every crime known to man to get my boy back. And I'll find out I was just a pawn in that mad maniac scheme. Those fucking tribe boys are really gonna enjoy feeding me to the fish. You did better than most. Looks like everyone underestimated you. Me is messed this up. I be good at this, remember? Instead I've been caught like a rat in Charlie's trap. Yeah, well at least you tried. At least I have one other person on my side. I just wish I had a little more time to spend with Alex before I've, I've been banged up for nearly all his life. And when I finally get out, this shit happens. I saw your kid. You did? How was he? Was he okay? He was okay. He'd been crying, but apart from that, he was alright. He mustn't like his mum, because he doesn't look much like you. I only saw him for a second anyway, before Charlie's hiding shit came crashing down around me. You did better than I did. I didn't even get close. That fat slave will probably blow up half of London and I'll take a rap for that as well. Oh, you're breaking my heart. Are you two just going to sit there feeling sorry to yourselves or do you want to stop that little Oh, I know you. You're that copper from the prison van bust. He's Phil Mark. Frank Carter of the Flying Squad. That's right. And all the fucking choice you've got right now if you want to end up wasting away in the nick. Yeah? Well, why is a bill want to help me? You can make a name 
to yourself just by turning me in. I know it's up to Alan. I have the old thing. I need you alive to ruin his plan. You're no good to me, Dad. Besides, you wouldn't last a night in the cell in this town. Not after Snow Hill. Don't trust him, Mark. He's filth. Look, as it is, I'm a dead man. And so is my boy. You give it to me straight, Carter. What do you want? Take that as an agreement for now. Then now you're working for me, you do what I tell you. Don't fucking do it. Everybody knows he's just obsessed with Nick and the Joel's boots. You get me out of here. You let me in and uh, get my kid to safety. And I'll do whatever you want. Whatever it takes, Carter. You in? I'll help you. But don't trust him. He's no better than Charlie. That's good enough for me. Right, I'm gonna blast this door. When I do all that, I'll break loose upstairs. I'll try and cover you from up the hall. Take this shooter and try and get out. Remember the kids still at Charlie's Gap, but you better hurry. Call me on his number when you've got him. I'll cut Jake off. Remember, Hammond, you owe me. You owe me your life. Get one thing straight, Carter. I want Jolson as much as you do, but we get my boy to safety first, all right? Okay, Hammond. Now stand back. I'm going to blast this door. Be careful. Castle and Black is the best in your cage. But let's get on with it. Get the gun, Mark. Keep going. Oh. Okay, I'm going ahead. You cover me up the hall. <laughs> 